Normally, I'm not a fan of SUVs and crossovers. They provide the driver with a sense of invincibility that does not reflect reality. They handle worse and are less efficient, and、uh, many do not even possess notably better ground clearance. These days, crossovers are the default choice of moms and family men. Nevertheless, some SUVs are rather interesting on the used market. In this video, I will show you five SUVs that I like in ascending order of engine displacement. The SUV with the smallest engine on this list is the L322 Range Rover with a 4.4-liter diesel V8, otherwise known as TDV8. The L322 generation Range Rover is relatively reliable for a British car, at least. It has classic British styling and、uh, is instantly recognizable. While its successor became blander, with the 2011 model year, Land Rover introduced the new 4.4-liter TDV8 paired to the ZF 8HP 70 8-speed automatic transmission. This engine addressed the numerous issues of the earlier 3.6-liter unit. Indeed, this 4.4-liter engine lived on for another decade after the discontinuation of the L322 generation in the next-gen Range Rover. Hence, the 4.4-liter TDV8 essentially combines a modern drivetrain in the classic design of an L322. Needless to say, this Range Rover is rather good off-road. Considering its price on the used market, it quite likely will be used more and more for this purpose. Spoiler alert: the 957 Cayenne Turbo is one of the three vehicles built on the same Volkswagen PL71 platform that、uh, got on this list. Codenamed Type 9PA. The first-generation Porsche Cayenne has a more masculine look than its successors. It is also the only one to come with locking center and rear differentials. Combined with dry sump lubrication for the V8s, it is surprisingly capable off-road. The vehicle is also relatively compact and was the best handling SUV or crossover when it came on the market. The facelifted models carry the 957 denomination. In my opinion, their looks are more sorted out. More importantly, Porsche introduced the direct-injected 4.8-liter V8 engines, while the earlier 4.5-liter units are known to suffer from cylinder bore scoring. The 4.8-liter engines are more hard-wearing. The M48.51 twin-turbo units that power the Cayenne Turbo are actually simpler than the naturally aspirated variant, and is the best of the bunch. Last but not least, the first-generation Cayenne uses Ison's six-speed automatic transmission, which is more robust than the ZF 6HP. The first-generation Touareg is also built on the PL71 platform in Bratislava. Overall, it is a less impressive car than the Cayenne with a lesser suspension setup. However, Volkswagen compensated for that with two unique engines never again to be found in a crossover or SUV: the 6-liter W12 petrol and the 5-liter V10 TDI. In my opinion, the V10 TDI is the unit more suitable for the character of the car. While producing only roughly 310 horsepower, the V10 makes 750 newton meters of torque. Interestingly, this V10 diesel engine is one of the handful of passenger vehicles with gear-driven camshafts. Ostensibly, this design makes the timing system maintenance-free. However, it also makes the engine more sensitive to overheating, with cracked center timing gear as the result. In the same vein, the engine, though reasonably reliable, needs to come out for most repairs due to lack of space in the engine bay. Still, these troubles are what make the Touareg V10 TDI so cheap to buy on the used market. There is no shortage of diesel heads that want to try their luck. And、uh, some have come out lucky. 
While the V10 TDI sounds ridiculous, the V12 TDI found in the first generation Audi Q7 is borderline insane. It makes 1,000 newton meters of torque, just above idle, and produces 500 horsepower maxed out. Unlike the single overhead cam V10 TDI, the V12 TDI is a much more sophisticated 48 valve unit. Originally intended to be an RS model, the Q7 V12 TDI has all the styling cues of an Audi RS. Built on the same PL71 platform as the Cayenne and the Touareg, the Q7 is a larger three-row model. It is rather unattractive in styling, though the 12-cylinder 6-liter diesel engine makes up for all that. And surprisingly, the largest engine on this list is found on the unashamedly American 4th generation Escalade. In fact, it is a bit misleading to say that the engine is the largest because the naturally aspirated 6.2 liter small block is the most compact and lightest engine physically, thanks to its overhead valve design. It is also the most reliable unit and easiest to work on and to modify. The fourth generation Cadillac Escalade is an imposing, handsome SUV. Built on a proper chassis, the Escalade is also the most robust in non-ESV form. The truck is not pompous and makes for a wonderful choice for road trips where the going may get a little rough. Another interesting fact is that the Escalade can be configured with rear-wheel drive, though most were sold with all-wheel drive. 